Hi, joyful people. Hi, hi, joyful people. Hi, joyful people. It's I from Joy, and I'm back with another motivational video. <laughs> okay, so I was, I woke up this morning from a dream, but just kind of sat in my spirit. Um, and I don't usually um, feel like I have dreams that I need to give out. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't really wear glasses. <laughs> These are blue light glasses because I'm always looking at a screen, but they're cute, huh? <laughs> but um, I, yeah, I just had to, I had to share it because I feel like this is a great moment to encourage and it may be God showing me um, the brokenness of some body or some people. So this is my opportunity because my gift is encouragement. Um, so let's get into the dream. So I was on a college campus for a graduation or something and there was many people. It felt like I was filming a documentary. Um, there was this beautiful um, black woman and she had her hands up. She was holding something. She was wearing a shimmery gold dress. And she kind of had her graduation robe hanging off of her, kind of like a cape. And she said something like, why wouldn't I get my masters? Why can't I effing master it? And at first, when she first said um, the first one, it was the way that she said it and the way that she looked was like true um, excitement for herself. Then when she said the next one and she was cursing, um, it switched to desperation. It switched to a, a means to an end, like, I got this mastered. My life is about to change. I got this mastered. Y'all gonna respect me. I mastered this. Y'all didn't think I could do it. I did it. And that was where it switched for me. Because at first I was like, wow. Yeah, girl, celebrate yourself. Congratulations. And then it slowly got sad. It was like the, the excitement she had was like she achieved a means to an end, but that is not, <laughs> unfortunately, um, a means to an end. So you could see the brokenness in it that it wasn't because she wanted to do better. It wasn't because she found her purpose. It wasn't just because um, she wanted to advance in life. She wanted to grow herself academically. She wanted to achieve this thing um, because she felt like she was on the right path and it will advance her career, advance her academically, you know, like the, the normal things. It was more like, I did this. Now you gonna respect me. Like, <laughs> <coughs> and that was when my heart broke because I was saddened for her because I could see that there was an unhealed portion of her that pursued this degree um, as a means to an end. So let me get to the encouragement part. If this is you, if this is somebody close to you, I want you to know you don't need a degree to define you. Growing yourself, advancing yourself, um, and doing things to uplift yourself, always go for it. Yes, but you don't ever do anything for anybody. You don't do anything for people to respect you. And you have to understand, some people just don't know how to respect anybody. So you can do everything in your power and never get what you are looking for. Then what did you do it for? There are some people that will see you accomplish things and say, um, you could have done better. Oh, I mean, but you graduated with a 3.9. You couldn't get a 4.0? Oh, 
Some people get over 4.0. So you got a 4.0, you didn't get a 4.5. You know, and it, you are never enough to them. And the worst thing you could ever do as a person is put your validation, put your, um, put, put your, your, yeah, put your validation in another person. Once you put what only God can give to you in the hands of a human, when God said the, the heart of man is desperately wicked, who could know it? It doesn't mean that you should walk around afraid and shielding yourself from people because all people are bad. No, because God uses men to bless us, to uplift us, to encourage us all the time. But the thing is, sometimes out of their hurt, sometimes out of their pain, sometimes out of their jealousy, humans can advise you in an incorrect way. And you have to understand the spiritual part of it. You have to understand that they're going through something right now. You have to understand they interpreted that the wrong way. So you pick out the information that speaks to you, but you won't know how to do that. And you won't know that if you don't have a relationship with God. You don't do things for others to respect you. You serve God. You know who you are and who God called you to be. You know that even if you don't know 100% of your purpose right now, the closer you get to God is the closer you get to unlocking that Pandora's box and God will open it up mightily for you. And that's also why you need to keep in relationship with people. But also, because usually people like this, you don't have many people around you because you say people are fickle. You say you don't really get in along with men, with other men or with other women. That's not the truth. What's the most common denominator? You, unfortunately. And it's simply because you are probably fearful. You're probably scared. You've probably put your hope and your heart in certain people. But I tell you, look, get into Proverbs and take it. Because Proverbs will give you things for life. I know that's Old Testament. Most people, we live by the New Testament, things like that. But when you go back into Proverbs, it tells you the character of certain people. You will start to realize that there were certain people that should have never had a place in your life. There were certain people that should have never had a say in your life. There were certain people that just couldn't help you because they couldn't help themselves. And you will see the characteristics of those people and why you entered into situations that you didn't need to in order for people to hurt you and upset you and not encourage you. And some of you in your heart of hearts, you long for those good connections. You long for people who appreciate you, love you, and congratulate you just like you do for them. The problem is that you keep expecting it from people who can't give it to you. And that's not a you issue. That's a them issue. But you have to know when to move. You can't stay in relationships because of sentiment, because of years. Because of family or because of these other things. You can't stay there because of that. So you have to get to the point that you walk with God and God heals you. You will get that degree and you will cry when people are not falling at your feet, but it's not normal for people to worship the ground you walk on. Only person to be worshiped is God. Why do you think the devil got kicked out of heaven? Because he wanted people to worship him like God. Don't let that spirit fall on you because of the things and the evil things that people did to you. I know it happened and I know it hurt you. And I know it was probably parents and people that you were supposed to trust into. But you also have to understand that now we are adults. So you can understand and you can take into consideration that you didn't get what you needed when you needed it. They weren't there for you the way that they were supposed to because they were your parents. They were the person sitting over you. They were your guardian. They were the people that you trusted in. They were your family. 
You can acknowledge that what they did for you was not enough. It was not enough. And I'm sorry that happened to you because it's not fair. But as an adult, you have a responsibility to yourself and to those that you are meant to impact. Because I always say, though it happened to you, it's not always about you. The purpose is greater than you. Because you walking this hard road of healing yourself and acknowledging that pain and understanding that these definitions, these things that came about of the way that I was, because of the way that I was treated, because of the way I wasn't encouraged, because of the way I was always looking to be enough, not knowing I am enough. Sweetheart, you are enough. You are more than enough. You are greater than enough. You will make, you will say, I'll be enough when I make a million. You make that million and yet you don't feel enough. You'll be enough when you get married. You get married and you don't feel enough. You'll be enough when you have children. You get children, you will not be enough. You will, you get degrees, you get your doctorate that now you'll be enough. You still will not feel enough because you need to know you are enough. The rest of these things are. And that's the sad part because society doesn't tell you to heal. Society doesn't tell you to become whole. Society doesn't tell you that, yes, you didn't get your needs met. And you have to understand that the people that were above you could only do for you what they knew how to do. So you didn't get your needs met because their needs probably weren't met. And they figured out how to do better. And they tried to give you better than what was given to them, but though it wasn't enough. But now you have the opportunity to heal yourself, to acknowledge that they were still good people. They were just good broken people. And they passed on to me some brokenness. But I have the choice and the decision and a God that is greater than me to give me the skills and to heal me and to change me to be that person I never thought I could be, but I always wanted to be. Only God can do that because some of the things you don't even know how to change, you don't know where to start. It's him that'll bring it around you. It's him that'll bring the people around you, but you gotta be ready to let things go. You can no longer look for people to tell you who you are. You can no longer look for things to feel that. You're gonna have to go back and feel the pain of the past and propel through. You gotta get, you gotta get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Knowing that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you should fear no evil because your God is with you. You will also start to realize all the things that happened to you that didn't make sense. All the obstacles you had to face that were ridiculous. All of those things that made you feel like the black sheep or for some reason you just couldn't relate with people. You couldn't do all of these things. Was the enemy telling you lies because you have a purpose greater than you. And the day that you find out that you somebody. <laughs> the devil going to be like the gig is up. She knows who she is. She's found her God. Cause you got an assignment greater. You went through those things to help somebody else. It's greater than you. But you need to know you are enough. That God knows every hair on your head. That God loves you. You don't even got to do anything. He loves you. He wants to bless you abundantly. He wants to heal you. He wants to take your burdens and give you his blessings. He wants to use all the evilness and all the wickedness that happened to you. I 
as a means to mature you, to persevere you, to heal you, to cultivate you, to show you that you got the spirit of bounce back. Stop letting people throw things at you and you catch it. Mm -mm. You are enough, okay? So if you are pursuing a de degree, pursue that degree. But because you love what you're doing and you want to make an impact, because you want an, um, a better means for your life, because you know that this will open this door, because you know that you will have the knowledge and the backing and the degree that says that I did the work so I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, do that. But not so people won't down talk you. So you can throw it into people's face. Oh, you only got an uh, undergrad? Oh, you ain't even graduate. You got your GED? Oh, well, I have my master's. Uh-uh. God can't bless you when you have that spirit. And think about it. Nine times out of ten, you don't want to turn into the bully that you was running from. Didn't somebody demean you before? And you know how you felt. So why do you want to upgrade yourself to now start demeaning somebody else? Love your neighbor as yourself. You didn't like the way that felt. Don't do it to another person. You do it for you. You do it because God led you to it. You do it so God can show you. I know they said you weren't smart, but you are very smart. I know they said you was lazy, but you just needed to know your purpose so that you know that there's a means to an end of what you're doing. Not that getting that degree is your means to an end, that now people will treat you a different way. Mm -mm. It's you realizing that I am smart. I am capable of learning. I do have a purpose in this life. I am strong. I actually can work. You know, people told me I was so lazy and all these other things that I was afraid. Me completing this program. Look at the reasons why you even feel that way. Me completing this program encouraged me because they told me I was silly. It took me so long to get my undergrad I didn't think I could get a graduate's degree. But I happened to love what I was doing, that it was interesting to me. And now that I made it, I'm proud of myself. God saw me through. I learned the art of perseverance. I've learned the skill of consistency. I don't just give up. I don't throw in the towel at the sign of opposition because I know that God can give me favor in the midst of chaos. As a suddenly moment, that's a but God moment. God will always see me through. With him, all things are possible. So I don't even pull the strength from myself. I wake up in the morning some days and ask God to carry me, but I keep making steps forward and God always sees me through. That's why you should be proud of yourself. That's why this degree or whatever you have done or this accomplishment should feel good to you. Not so people treat you differently. Not so people see you in a different light. You could have a PhD and somebody never call you doctor. Will that piss you off? It shouldn't. <laughs> Cause you're a human. You are a person with a doctorate degree. Which I'm not against, you know, people being acknowledged for their accomplishments. No, I'm not against that. Um, but if people don't know or, you know, you shouldn't feel some type of way 
because you almost feel like they're disrespecting you and that's not what it is. You felt like getting that degree should put you in a whole nother category of people and now people are disrespecting you. But that's not, that's not what it's about. So I encourage you, get close to your God. Start to let him speak to you. Not just pray, get in his word. Get in his word. You know, when God says through Christ we are a new creation, you are a brand new means to yourself. And you have to take every thought captive and make it obedient to the word so that you become the greatest version of yourself by doing so. But I want you to understand, if you don't know who you are, if you don't feel enough, doing things that you feel will make you feel enough will not. These are things you have to know. Because one thing God does, you could have no money in your bank account. You could have lost your job. And all of these things are devastating. But God, knowing God and knowing who you are, won't allow such situations to cause you to go to depression because you know somehow, some way, God supplies all your needs according to his riches and glory. That all things work together for your good because he loves you. I mean, because you love him and he called you to this purpose. That you have never, that, you know, we have never seen the righteous forsaken nor their children begging for bread. All because you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So all else is always added on to you. So in that situation, you still know you have a purpose. You still know you're somebody. You don't feel demeaned. You don't feel lost. You don't feel confused. That's how it should be. You happen to get a bad deal, God forbid, and lose all your millions. You know you can make two million because of the principles and how God designed you. The Lord giveth, like Job says, and the Lord taketh away. And he can give it again. What do I need to learn in this season? Because I know the gifts that God gives me are without sorrow. He doesn't take them away. They're just embedded in me. Where there's life, there's hope. If I am here, <laughs> I have a purpose. If I didn't, I wouldn't be alive right now. You have a purpose. Now get with your father so you can find it. I hope this blessed somebody. You guys know, you can sign up for your free consultation call if you need help with anything. I'm here to support you. The link is below. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. And you all have a wonderful day. Stay wonderful, stay positive, stay beautiful, stay blessed. And know you are loved.